Hello, my name is Tristan with IT Client Services, and today I will be showing you how to sign in to Zoom, install the desktop application, and join a meeting. To start, you'll want to go to bentley.zoom.us and sign in. Here, you will need to enter your Bentley credentials. Now that we're signed in, we have a few options. This is the web version of Zoom. This is fully functional and you can join and host meetings from it. To join or host a meeting, you would go to the top right and click either the join or host buttons. If you wanted to join a meeting, you'd click join and enter your meeting ID or personal link and then hit join. To host, you would hit host and select one of the options and you'd then host. In our case, we're going to skip that for now, and I'm going to show you how to install the Zoom desktop application. You're going to want to go to the top left and select Resources, and then Download Center. You're then going to want to click Download under the Zoom desktop client. Now that that is installed, we will go ahead and open it and wait for the installation to finish. Alright, now that Zoom is installed, I do recommend keeping this checked off. This will allow your Zoom client to stay up to date automatically, which is required in order to join Zoom meetings at Bentley. Uh, with that checked off, we can hit Done, and then we're going to need to sign in. You can click sign in and then you'll need to click the SSO button. If you enter your Bentley email and password in the top here, it will not work. So we'll select SSO and here we want to enter Bentley and click continue. As you can see, we were redirected back to our web browser. In my case, it automatically signed me back in with my Bentley credentials since I'm on campus. If you're at home or off campus, you will probably need to sign back in with your Bentley credentials and then you'll reach this page. Once you get to this page, you're going to want to click Open Zoom Meetings and you'll be redirected back to the desktop application. Now signed in you can just click get started. You can add any personalization you'd like. In my case, I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm also going to skip the scheduling, but you're free to connect your Bentley account if you'd like. Now that we're in the desktop application, we'll want to make sure that your video and audio devices are ready to go. To do that, you can go to the top right and select the settings gear icon. You can then visit the video and audio tabs. We're going to start with video. In my case I've disabled my camera so you can't see anything. However, you'd be able to see a preview of your camera here. Select different cameras here and change any options you'd like. The defaults should be fine. You can then go to the audio tab and do the same thing. You can see all of your devices. You can see my microphone right here is working as I speak. And you can also test each of these devices. The test speaker will play an audio chime back to you. And the test mic will have you record something and it will play it back to you to make sure that you can hear yourself. You can also change other options down below. Now that we've checked that, we can close the settings icon. And you also have meeting options here. I'll now show you how to join a meeting from the Zoom desktop application. You just go ahead and hit join. Enter your meeting ID. In my case, I do have a personal one created and ready. And then hit join. You'll need to select Join with Computer Audio in order to make sure that you can hear others and they can hear you. 
Again, you would see my camera here, but I've disabled it for this. And you should now be in your meeting. To leave the meeting, you can hit end in the bottom right. Or if you're not the host, this will say leave instead of end. Now I'm going to return to the Zoom homepage on the web version to show you how to join a meeting from there. Now that we're signed back in on the web version, I'm going to go ahead and hit join. Enter that meeting ID again. And you'll notice some options here. By default, it'll want to open the Zoom desktop app. You would do that by clicking open Zoom meetings. You'll then be redirected to the Zoom desktop and join the meeting automatically. If for whatever reason you can't use or don't want to use the desktop app, you can cancel this prompt and then select join from your browser in the bottom here. And this is the Zoom web interface. It should be pretty much the same thing except through your web browser. You'll need to allow zoom.us to access your microphone and camera, which your browser will prompt you for. And once again, when you want to leave, you go to the bottom right and select end or leave. For today's topic and access to more content, you can get more information by visiting mybentley at bentley.edu slash mybentley and click on ServiceNow. Enter your Bentley email address and password to access Bentley Support Central. Once logged in, type in the keyword that you would like to learn more about in the search bar. For example, wireless. If you have any further questions, contact the Bentley IT Help Desk by emailing helpdesk at bentley.edu or by calling 781-891-3122.